customer experience is fulfilling customers' wants and needs in a respectful, transparent, and empowering way. Wants are explicit requests that customers clearly state. I want an account, I want a personal loan, I want to transfer money back home, I want a small credit until my salary is paid. Very often, wants turn into habits. As such, they can be predicted and anticipated. Good customer experience is supporting customer habits without the customer having to ask. But here a question arises. Would you be supporting both good and bad habits? Let's make an example. Imagine a customer that regularly overspends and gets overdrawn at the end of every month paying hefty fees. What would you do? Would you simply go on milking fees? Would you rather suggest an overdraft protection? Or knowing this is a pattern that repeats every month, would you make customers aware and timely inform them before they get into the red? and perhaps also suggest how to improve the way they manage their cash flow. These are crucial questions that come with a heavy burden of responsibility. If you're like me, you are designing how an individual interacts with an organization, you know that you can exploit specific techniques to make people do what you want them to do without them even being aware of. These so-called Dark patterns are used to manipulate customers. For example, when a user interface has been carefully crafted to trick users into buying an overpriced insurance with their purchase or signing up for recurring bills. That is why, from an ethical standpoint, customer experience should always start from a deep respect for the customer. There is no room for leveraging dark patterns. Respecting the customer has to do with sharing with the customer all the information needed at every point in time so that the customer can act in a fully empowered way. There is no room for withholding information or manipulating it. For instance, you cannot create confusion by showing the interest rate once on a monthly basis, once on an annual basis, because this would be misleading. When you design a screen in the mobile or online banking, interest rates and fees should be clearly exposed and not hidden in the small print. An interest calculator may also help the customer get the full picture and explore different scenarios. We also say that customer's experience has to do with customer needs as well. Needs are about things that would make customer better off without the customer explicitly asking or even being aware of it. This is where the specific know-how of an organization like ours makes a difference when properly put at the service of the customer. Imagine a 35-year-old customer that every month sets aside 20% of her salary and this money sits every month in her current account without any financial benefit for her. What would you do? Would you let the money sit on the customer account forever? Would you rather offer to invest that money in a product with a good yield? Or would you suggest that the customer starts an investing plan that adjusts whenever the disposable income changes? Or imagine a customer that spends 60% of her FT salary on renting a property. Would you suggest that she considers buying a property and show how one of our mortgage loans can help? Here again, real customer experience has to do with giving customers a solution that makes them better off and at the same time fulfilling the profit-making mission of our organization. As you can see, this is much more than selling a product that helps me achieve my targets. Regardless of how much business they give us, all customers are sharing with us two of their most scarce resources, their time and their attention. As custodian of the customer experience, we should always be thankful for that and cherish both. I own it, do you?